All right, my people, we are back in it for another one. Got some Battlefield 2042 on the channel today. Currently, I'm not recording over any gameplay. I'm not sure what I'm going to plug in here. I might throw some Xbox Series S gameplay in here. I might. I, I know I still have some uh, some TDMs and all that on PS4 Pro from a while back where I went absolutely off and just never got around to uploading them. Maybe I'll, I'll slot those in here. I'm not sure yet. But either way, we'll have some Battlefield gameplay in this video. For any random person that finds this video and they're expecting some high quality professional type, you know, review and, you know, I wrote a script and all this shit and like even threw like a poem in there and shit too. This is not the channel. This is not the video for you. I just, you can ask any of my subscribers, man. I don't steer anybody wrong. I'm, you know, I'm honest about everything, right? We just keep it raw over here. We keep it 100 and it's just you know i'm just about truth man i value honesty in other people so i'm an honest person just by nature right you know brutal truth even <laughs> oh i'm so honest to a point where you know i constantly be getting hate over here on this channel so if, if you're looking for that if you're looking for me to sugarcoat this and oh you know walk on eggshells around people's feelings about this or whatever this is not the video for you, man. All I can tell you is just how I feel about the product in this moment. I get asked a lot, you know, on Twitter, on my second channel, on this channel, you know, people be asking me, hey, man, it's been a while. Should I buy Battlefield 2042 yet? You know, I know some people are probably thinking about picking it up for the holidays, picking it up for the new year and all that. And I thought, you know what? Why don't we just make a video about this now? Instead of replying to each individual person, I'll make a video on it because I don't think it's just as simple as a yes or no answer. You know, I think there's a, a lot more that goes into it, but I think I can also give like a unique perspective on it because I got so many hours in on the PS4 Pro version of the game. And then now we got some legitimate time in on the Xbox Series S version of the game. Now, I haven't gotten a ton of time in on Xbox. I think I'm like ranked 26 or 27 or something like that. I don't know. I think I'm just about to unlock the scar over here on Xbox. Um, but still, like, even though, you know, I'm not very high and I don't have a lot of things unlocked on the Xbox, I played it enough. I got enough time into it, it I feel like, in my opinion, where I could get like, this is what the game is, right? This is what it is. This is what it isn't. This is where I'm at with it at this particular juncture so long story short should you buy the game no man the game absolutely sucks <laughs> no I'm just play yo i know it's gonna piss people off yo people are gonna hear that they're gonna get mad as hell man i could come out here right i could come out here and critique a game constructive criticism and people will get so offended by it even though you're actually still praising the game in that video people will get offended by it like you just insulted their mama <laughs> Like, they get so butthurt, man. You know, their booty's all red and raw and shit. And they just, oh my goodness, man. It's too weird. People actually defend video games online. Like, their lives depend on it, right? Like, imagine getting that offended about a goddamn video game. Are you kidding me? Tell me you got nothing else going on in your life without telling me, right? Like, you really need to just go outside, man. Go find some friends. Find yourself a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever it is. Go find one of those and just... Do something, man, because, I mean, you really need it, man. You need to find Jesus or some shit. The dudes that carry on like this, with the toxicity and the hate and everything, because somebody's opinion on a goddamn video game, you need to find Jesus, motherfucker, because this shit ain't working for you. You're just making yourself look like a clown. But anyways, enough of that shit. So with the PS4 Pro version, as you guys know, anybody who's been around this channel for a while, I've had a lot of problems with that, you know, from beta until now i actually just played it on ps4 pro just yesterday and it's still struggling right it's it's not it's better it's definitely better on the ps4 pro uh but these people out here trying to say that the game works flawlessly for them on ps4 do not listen to these people they're full of shit okay straight up and down they are full of shit i actually had someone tell me straight up i don't know it was like maybe two weeks ago that he plays Battlefield 2042 on the base PS4 and he's never had a problem with the game. Not one. He's never experienced a single problem. So I'm like, 
You just gonna lie to my motherfucking face like that? Like, right in front of my face, right? You standing right there, and you just gonna straight up fucking lying, though. Like, why the fuck you lying, man? Like, just do. That's right, I must have forgot. The base PS4 that he bought, it, it's got better specs, right? They, they put more time and effort into that base PS4 making that bitch than they did my PS4 Pro, right? It's just that much more superior. I mean, fuck, it's better than my Series S too, man. Didn't you know? <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man. Like, <laughs> holy shit. These, these dudes, I swear, like, dude, you're just gonna stand right in front of people's face like that. I mean, you know, metaphorically speaking over here on the internet and just straight up lie though. The game has had serious problems on last gen and it still has problems now. Still, you get tons of ghost bullets. You still got tons of popping. Shit don't work right. Aim assist still feels broken at times. I can't stand the way the guns feel on old gen versus new gen. And I remember I said that when I made a video just talking about my experiences for my first little session on new gen. I was like, dude, I can appreciate the way the guns feel over here because it actually feels like you're you're holding a gun that's you know it's got a little kick right you're actually holding a gun over here is it as good as like say modern warfare no not my opinion but on last gen man it's just like you feel like you're you're using like play-doh eater guns right like you're you're using toy guns man toys r us guns fisher price guns and shit like you got weightless guns you know what i mean it doesn't feel like you're actually it feels like you're using a fucking nerf gun man i hate it on old gen but over here on new gen though it just dude it's so much more satisfying to shoot a gun on new gen than old gen you know you have the 128 players on new gen and you know that's cool and all uh you know especially too because i'm not noticing a ton of connection issues with all the you know with with all those extra people right i'm not noticing you know a ton of lag and all that but i still on new gen notice some ghost bullets uh, there still is some problems here and there. Like, uh, I'll just give you an example. I, I could put the clip in here, but you know, I mean, people could think that people take that as just, you know, straight up hate. Like, oh, you're just showing bad clips about the game, but you're not showing good clips about the game. You know, I got a clip on my hard drive somewhere though, where the, I was on orbital and you know, I was on new gen because I haven't seen orbital on old gen in about six or eight months or some shit. That map literally will not come up for me. Map rotation in this game is awful on both gens in my opinion but we were on orbital and i was in one of the buildings there i can't remember which flag it was and two walls of the entire building were completely invisible but i guess they were only invisible for me and not for my enemy because my enemy actually ran right by me and i'm looking at him like bro you can't fucking see me so i go outside the door because you could walk through because it, it was still a fucking wall even though it was completely invisible and i go through the door and I shot the motherfucker in the back. And I was like, I kind of felt bad. Though. I was like, damn, dude, like my bad, bro. But I mean, like, like, fuck, man, we're trying to win the game too, right? <laughs> like, yo, it, there's still some problems there, man. But I got to be honest, it's, you know, it's much more satisfying to play it on new gem. You know, I also, I remember talking in that first impressions video on new gem. I remember breaking down how much steeper and how much more. You know thick the competition was over here on new gen because now you got the pc sweats over here too where you don't have to worry about them on old gen and i broke down you know my kd or at least what i remember of it from old gen and i know on old gen on battlefield 2042 i'm well over a 2 kd over there right i believe i'm around a 2.6 over here in that video i was a 1.8 i've actually even dropped more than that over here on new gen I, I believe I got a 1.4 or 1.5 KD right now on new gen. I don't know. I don't check very often, right? So, and you guys know my memory sucks. So, it's like I'm struggling way more over here. Uh, it just feels like the, the competition is just way better over here on new gen than it is on old gen. It feels like skill-based matchmaking Call of Duty. But, I, like, I'm more addicted to playing the game. Like, I actually just, like, I'm struggling way more over here on new gen. But it's like dude i, I want to keep playing like i got the battle pass i got you know i got the gold edition so i got the first four battle passes or whatever on the playstation version of the game i didn't even bother to buy it over here on the xbox and it's like dude i don't i don't even have that to really grind for and it's like but i want to keep playing the game though man we actually kind of having fun over here but that also heavily depends on the lobby that you're in the type of people that are in that lobby you know the there's some lobbies that i get into on new gen and i'm just i'm out 
you see what it is right you see dudes camping in the weirdest fucking spots ever we're talking about these huge maps right like you have these newer places that you can go to on new gen which is cool right like i like fighting in the stadium and all that on hourglass and i like some of the not all but i like some of the newer spots that you can't go to on old gen on new gen i like fighting in some of those spots and and they're camping in these just ass crack of the maps like the definition of an ass crack of a map right like nowhere near a flag they might see like five people through the run of an entire game over there in that spot but they're over there camping <laughs> like dude i'm out man i'm not trying to play a game like that i'm not trying to play in a lobby like that against people like that or even with people like that man it's just slow boring time limit games and shit you know, where you're not accomplishing anything and everybody's fucking frustrated, man. Like, who the fuck wants to play against people like that, dude? And last gen is all the same as well, too. But, you know, I just find, like, you know, the difference between last gen and old gen when it comes to your competition, I, I think it has a lot to do with, with K&M, too, man. The PC sweats and all that. The people get down with K&M on console as well. You know, the, the things that people could do on keyboard and mouse is just incredible right and the fact that they cry and whine all the time complain about aim assist on controller is just absolutely fucking hilarious to me when you could do all that <laughs> right like you're a fucking god on KM, which is why you choose to be on KM. you choose not to use a controller but you'll cry about like fucking simple ass aim assist dude it's absolutely hilarious and it's incredible that this is what it is I'll, I'll tell you this, man. I've never been sniped so many times uh, on Battlefield 2042. The entire time from beta until now on old gen. I was, I've been sniped more on new gen. Way more. I'm talking like at least 8 times, 10 times more over here on new gen already than I have my entire time on old gen. And these motherfuckers don't miss, man. These dudes on K&M, they don't miss with these snipers. That's why they use them. That's why they use them. Because they know they're going to hit their shot from whatever fucking range they're at. It's a one-shot kill, man. You're, just, you're out, right? <laughs> so it definitely feels like there's way stiffer competition over here on new gen as opposed to old gen. But I, like, I actually have more fun just, like, you know, putting up more solid games on old gen, right? Like, you can relax more, in my opinion, on old gen and still have the option of doing well you still have the ability to do well just while you're chilling you don't have to go hard you don't really have that option on new gen right new gen it's go hard go hard go hard it's like you're playing call of duty it's like you got call of duty's whack-ass skill-based matchmaking and if you don't go hard you're gonna get fucking destroyed man these motherfuckers out here are gonna eat you up you ain't gonna have a chance and it's 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 very noticeable right so it's like from that aspect on old gen, you know, I do have more fun as in I don't have to try my ass off and I can still put up good games. But the old gen definitely has more problems still than new gen does. You know, you'll notice just bullets just don't work correctly over there. You know, like I said, it's still a lot better now than it was back at launch or, or beta, right? Like the old gens. They definitely run better now than they did before. But still, there's still a lot of problems with the old gen of the game. Do not listen to these people that keep trying to... I don't know who they're soldiering for, man. But they're out here. Oh, old gen, man. It runs perfectly for me. Dude, just shut the fuck up, man. Go take that energy somewhere else, bro. We don't want that shit around us. Like, that's just toxic bullshit, man. You're full of shit. And you know it. You know your ass is full of shit. I ain't trying to hear it. Go take that shit somewhere else. For all my vets, right, that love Battlefield, you, you've been around the franchise for a long time, you loved Battlefield 3, you loved Battlefield 4, you know, you, you liked Battlefield 1 or whatever, you loved it, you were kind of like, you know, on the fence about 5, it's like, yeah, it was, it had some cool features, but you weren't really digging this or digging that, you know, I feel like you're kind of going to feel the same way about this game as you did with Battlefield 5, but the difference is this game is more modern, right, it's, it's near future, so it's, you know, it's got that aspect to it, which is cool because a lot of us prefer to play a game in a modern setting or a slightly futuristic setting. You know, the specialist though, the specialist will get on your nerves, man. Now, it's a mixed bag for me 
on the specialist, right? Because on old gen, I fucking hate boars, man. It seems like every fucking slob, at least half the team, runs boars. They throw his turret down no matter what, man. As soon as they get to a corner, they throw down the turret. As soon as they get into a gunfight, they throw down the turret. Because they know they're so ass they're going to lose the gunfight. But they throw down the turret hoping that the turret will clean you up. Or at least mark you. So all their teammates go take you out. And they get the assist for it, right? Turrets fucking everywhere. And all these nerds do is camp with that motherfucker. Because if you're in the radius of the turret, the turret gains better target acquisition. I think it hits harder as well too. Each bullet increases it. it increases its damage when you're actually near the turret and all that right so it's actually more incentivizes you to be near your turret camp near it man and all these bitches abuse that shit over here on new gen you know it's yeah he still gets on my nerves man but i don't see him nearly as much <laughs> we got double the people in these lobbies and i still don't see him as much on new gen as i do as i did i should say on old gen you know but some of these specialists are still problems man like you know pack or however you pronounce her name right like her specialist is is pretty cheese man you know and some of them are completely fine in my opinion right like angel i think angel is a perfectly fine specialist right i don't think he's cheese i don't think what he's got is overpowered you know he can res and he could throw some ammo down he could drop a loadout crate so you could re resupply your ammo or switch your loadout you know, I don't think he's overpowered at all, right? So a specialist like Angel is perfectly fine in my opinion. Even Falk, you know, she can heal from range with with the uh, with the gun that she's got, you know, and she could res anybody. You know, a specialist like that, like I'm completely fine with. But some of these other specialists is just, you know, yeah, they're gonna get on your nerves, man. Like there's the new specialist they got with season two, where he drops a turret. A lot of bitches abuse that and camp behind it. You know, but I could see he could be useful too, right? You could plant down that turret and you can completely defend your flag. Um, so you can come in handy there, right? But you got to remember, man, this is online multiplayer. A lot of people don't use shit the way they should. They use whatever cheese they can. They abuse that shit as much as they can to get an edge because it's all about KD. It's all about statistics, right? They want to brag to their little friends and shit. So for all you OGs that absolutely love Battlefield, I think if you pick this game up, you would have fun with the game, right? I don't think you're going to absolutely love it like you did with Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, whatever, right? I don't think you're going to love it like that. I think you can pick this game up and you can have some fun with it. I would actually advise to try to get it on sale. Try to find a deal somewhere. Try to find a used copy somewhere. And I think you could have fun with the game. I think, like, it just depends on how you feel with, you know, skill-based matchmaking and that type of deal, right? You know, are you more okay with sweating your balls off to have a good time on a game? Are, are you okay with dealing with a little bit more problems, but having a more laid back experience with still being able to knock out some good games, right? Because that's basically what you're dealing with when it comes to old gen versus new gen. I think it's worth buying a new gen. Uh, old gen, like I said, still a lot of problems, but you know, the, the competition isn't as thick as new gen. Uh, you know, I'm glad, I'm still glad that I bought it on old gen. You know, I don't regret it, even though the game pisses me the fuck off. For a long time, it pissed me right off on old gen and shit. You know, it's... I'm so glad I, I had so much hype for this game, right? I'm so glad that I bought it. I definitely prefer playing it on new gen, though. Even though the competition is just so much thicker. And it's just... It's crazy, dude. Like, I'm struggling so much more. It's just like, I can't get enough, though. You know what I mean? Like, right now, I'm not gaming much at all. I'm just waiting for... You know, Modern Warfare 22 to come out. Wait for God of War and shit. I was waiting for Gotham Knights, but now we don't know <laughs> where we're going with that game. You know, I, I'm just sitting around waiting for these games, basically just kind of charging the batteries a little bit, cooling it a little bit on creating content on the channel. And the only game I really look to play is Battlefield, man. I'm not looking to play Zombies. I'm not looking to play, you know, any first-person games. I'm not looking to download anything off of Game Pass in the moment. I just, I'm waiting for these new games to come out and playing some Battlefield, man. So that's where I'm at with it. You know, I do think it's worth it. If you can find it on a deal, definitely pick it up. I think you'll have some fun with it. But don't be surprised if the game pisses you off. And it's not a long wait now either until we get some more positive changes to the game, right? Like, I know they're switching around the classes. Uh, they've been adding slowly. They've been adding cover and shit to these maps. And the maps definitely play better that they add cover to. I, I think they could have done a lot more 
but the maps are playing better and they have other maps that they're working on where they're adding covers so they're trying to make the maps more playable you know they are they do have a re rework coming in uh you know i think it's with the next big patch i think with season three i'm not even sure when that starts so i think it starts in november uh, but it doesn't even tell you anymore in the battle pass i remember it did back in like season one it would tell you when the battle pass is up it doesn't even tell you anymore but whenever we whenever season three starts i'm pretty sure that they got an update for that where they're going to rework the classes and the specialists and all that so there is some things to look forward to there hopefully they give us a few more new maps because we've only gotten the two new maps so far and they're not bad I, you know exposure is one of the better maps in the game and stranded if you avoid certain areas it's actually fun man so you know it's it's definitely uh, in a way better state now than it was and uh you know on old gen just be prepared to deal with a lot of problems on new gen you're going to see some problems but the fun is there i hope this video helped you out i'm out